Are you looking for a way to keep track of your assignments, to find out what's due, to add things to a digital planner so that you know what's coming up and have one place to find it all? We're going to take a look at how you can use the calendar functions in Schoology, and then I'll touch on a few of the reminders while we're in here. I'm starting on a landing page of a student. This student is just a mock student set up in one course that I run, enrolled at Park Center. And so if I click on this Osseo Area Schools tab in the corner on their page, you're going to get this upcoming uh, notifications list. And this is going to be things that either the school or the teacher has sent out as an update. Over on the right, you're going to see an overdue list and an upcoming list. Those are things that the teacher has put in with due dates that have not been yet submitted to Schoology, or things that are still upcoming that are going to be due, like this assignment that is due on the 25th at 11.59 p.m. You'll also see that there's group work with Jill Friend in here. This is actually something that the student needs to take care of with a friend. It isn't associated with a specific course. It is only for the student, and the student added it into their calendar. I'm going to show you how to add that and show you how to access the calendar. So if we look at the top, we will see that there's this little button and it is a little calendar. It'll pop open to a calendar. The student's calendar is a smidgen sparse because school has not yet started and so there are two assignments in here that I use just as models. So these are assignments from the course and the item that's in blue is the item that the student has added. Uh, in this case, they're going to meet with a friend named Jill, Jill friend, on Thursday. If I click on that, it's going to say that we're going to meet for the and a Google Meet to discuss the project. I can edit the item or view the item as the owner. You'll notice it's in blue. I can go up to the top, go to all calendars. I can choose to just look at one or two of the calendars uh, so that I can manage just things that I've committed to, things that are due for a specific course, or things that pretend to the whole, pertain to the whole school. So if I turned on just me, all the calendar entries would disappear except for the things that I had added on. If I turn that and I click on the one for my course, my notification turns off, but the things for that course come back up there. And if the school had put items on there and I put them, look here, you would see those here as well. Now let's look at how a student can add something. So I'm going to meet with Jill friend on Thursday to talk about our project, but we've talked about it and we think we're going to need more time. So I'm going to go click on the 28th. We've decided to meet at 3 p.m. on the 28th. So I'm going to click on this little plus in the upper right corner. It's going to pop up to the 28th, the date I clicked on, and I'm going to put in there 3 o'clock p.m. In this case, Jill and I are going to meet in the library. So we are going to do a library meet at 3 o'clock p.m. And again, the calendar choice for a student is me. I'm going to create that event, and you're going to notice it populates onto this list. But what's really cool about this is it's not only on that list, but if I go back to my home page, it's also now on my upcoming, so I can see what's coming up through my days and my weeks. And right here again is another way to access that calendar to see what else is in my upcoming. So now I can add things to my calendar. I could add that I'm going to work on an assignment. Um, if I know that I have an assignment coming up, I can click on a plus sign and remind myself to work on chapter three tonight. And don't even have to put a time on it, just a reminder to myself tomorrow that I need to work on that. Now, if you look at the bottom, you'll see that there's an import button and an export button. The import button would be to bring in a calendar from someplace else that you would like to also populate on here. I'm going to show you a little bit about the export button. Export allows you to send this calendar to another device, whether that be an iPhone or there's directions on how to send it to an Android or a Google device. You can have this calendar pop up on a student's phone, on your, if you're a student, on an iPad, a personal device of some sort, someplace besides here. Click on export and you can download the calendar and put it into another calendar software or because this student is a fake student they don't have the share option but you can share the calendar and it's going to give you a link that you can use to install that to an Apple device. In order to install it to a Google or another device there's a separate set of directions for that but totally can be done too. Hopefully that has helped you navigate through and know more about the calendar functions uh, in your Schoology and how you can help to use that as a planner to keep yourself or your student on track.